And now your first Horn 5 forecast, certified most accurate by weather rate. Well, good Sunday morning, mid-Michigan. Hope your weekend has been going well so far. Now, this morning, still seeing some snow fall out there. That's associated with a clipper that's farther to our southwest. Uh, eventually, that will be coming to an end later on this morning. And then for the remainder of the day, just uh, some isolated lake effect snow showers out there. But it's for tomorrow. Uh, still keeping eyes on that, the potential for a clipper to move through again. However, this time a little more widespread for our area. And I do think snowfall totals will be slightly higher than what we saw uh, both yesterday and last night. But we'll start off with this live look here at I-69 from our nap hide camera and we could see out there still snow falling along I-69 this morning. A lot of our roadways, especially from the Tri-Cities and on down south, are a little snow covered as well. So certainly slick this morning. Some extra time will be needed if you do have any Sunday morning plans that take you out on the roadways. Now here's a look at the first one. Five people with Doppler live from MBS. Still some light snow that's coming in near the Otisville area, extending down towards Lapeer, right along I-69 here and also into Flint, Grand Blanc, Fenton over towards Durand and Perry and also up in Birch Run. We're still seeing a few flurries coming down there as well. But as you travel farther north in the viewing area, actually things staying dry up there, there is the potential for a few isolated lake effect flurries up north through the remainder of the morning though. So here in the first one five sky tracker, here's that clipper that's moving through that's still uh, near Indiana and Illinois, but looking off towards North Dakota, there's our next round of snow. That next clipper uh, still uh, forming off to our west. That'll be here by tomorrow, starting off in the mid morning hours to the late morning and eventually carrying over into the afternoon and the evening. But for the remainder of today, first, a year in the first four and five hour by hour, once again, picking up on the lake effect snow off of Lake Huron with a northerly wind after this morning's snow exits. And folks inland actually will start to see clouds breaking up. So we'll say partly cloudy before the sun goes down later on today. And then through the overnight, we actually do eventually dry out for most of the overnight. Clouds do thicken up, though, and it's by that mid morning to late morning when we see the snow with that clipper coming back into the area once again. This is my midday tomorrow, and I do also think the snow will be a little more widespread than what the model is suggesting here. A lot more data has been suggesting more of a larger swath of snow moving right through. Now, tomorrow morning's commute, I do think will be okay. There still might be some leftover slick spots just due to the, today's snow. However, I think it's the afternoon and the evening commute tomorrow that will definitely be more slick, and we'll be seeing some slowdowns uh, for sure as you're heading back home from work or school for tomorrow. But we're talking a general one to three here across the area. Higher totals uh, pretty much east of I-75 off into the thumb. Some locally higher totals near four inches are certainly possible as well over in the thumb where we'll generally see higher totals throughout this entire event. But stay tuned for updates on that through the weekend. Uh, for today, we do have a high of 20 degrees and north wind at five to 15 miles per hour. Uh, for tonight, a low of 10 degrees. That wind still the same speed, but now out of the southwest and on the 70 forecast after tomorrow's snow highs back down into the teens again on Tuesday and Wednesday before they rebound again to the 20s to finish out the upcoming work week. So Trevor, we're still on quite the temperature roller coaster here, but after tomorrow's snow, the next best chance comes in on Thursday. Alrighty, Matthew, thank you.